Tonight on The Boat Show, we head off to Peel Island with the kids and the Barbie to check out this family-friendly destination. We take a look at the many trailer boat options available to us at John Crawford Marine. It's a wonderful vessel with a lot of thought into its design and its build quality. Jenny Bone catches up with the Honourable Craig Wallace. When I first learned to crawl, uh, I ate so much crab I crawled sideways. And later on, we pop in to catch up with the boys at the Haynes Group Boat Builders Factory in Waco. You can either have a liner inside of the, the hull, which is a fiberglass liner, so imagine this upside down but put in the hull, which gives you all the flooring and the space for tanks and everything. First, here is your boat show panel. Hi, welcome. Today we're discussing some of the major issues in the recreational boating industry, but also the lifestyle and how to get into it and enjoy it. We'll start with Matthew. How did you get into boating? I was fortunate enough to be brought into boating from, from family, uh, from, a, uh, from a close uncle and, uh, and my father, and obviously in my grandfather, they were all into boating. And uh, we've just been brought up to enjoy that lifestyle and make that part of you know, our, uh, our weekly or monthly activities with family. And do you continue that now with your kids and your family? Absolutely. Eldest, uh, Ryan's four, and uh, he's now loving the water and the, and the boats. And, uh, and little Gemma, she won't be too far behind. And Toby, well, he won't be too far behind her. <laughs> What about you, Sharon? How did you first come across boating? My first memory is with my grandfather in a tinny fishing and crabbing and prawning and those sorts of things. But I was actually brought up in a um, motor, motor and boat racing family. So for me, my family all built race, race engines. I was either skiing or powerboat racing or, or those sorts of things. Um, then I met my husband, who's in the marine industry as well. So. It's just continued on. We have um, six children. Ours are all uh, quite a bit older than Matt's now, but they all have boat licences. They're all quite capable skippers themselves. So, yeah, it's just... Family and, and connections. Yeah. Don, were you the same? Were yeah, a little, into... little bit like that. I mean, uh, just, you know, iconic um, males in the family, you know, my, my father and, and an uncle. You know, we'd always go out you know, fishing and, and boating and exploring and, and three boys in the family. So, you know, it was a great adventure. Yeah. And uh, I've subsequently you know, have my own children, um, and I guess it's just because we live near the water. It's just a natural thing to go and do. And and my favourite pastime now is kayaking, so I'm out there as often as I can and on the kayak. Yeah, it's funny to reflect. It might be 40 years ago, it might be 20 years ago, but we all had um, weekends that were blissfully free mm -hmm. and spent out on the water. I had an uncle, Bill, who took us out on his little half cabin and up and down the Georges River. and. Yeah. And it, it was, you know, they're the memories that linger with you today. Mm. So for people who might not be into boating as such, what are some of the lifestyle benefits? I think from a, uh, from a, from a family perspective, uh, and I can, I suppose, relate to that the closest at the moment, is purely being able to, to show the children there's so much more out there uh, that you don't get to see being land-based. So uh, from dugongs to turtles to the yabby banks and the soldier crabs and... Uh, you know the bird life, and uh, there's just so much more to um, to what's out on that sandbank, you know, off the off the beach than what you can just see sort of you know, on the beach. And I think for me, Jenny, because you know, we're, we're all busy, you know, lead busy lives, unfortunately. But when you're out on the water, it's just this whole sort of sense of release and the sense of freedom. You know, you can go and do what you want when you want, sort of thing, and just relax and get away from the. You know, the hurly-burly of, of the busy lives that we lead. So. Yeah, and mm. that's a very common thread with people mm. who might have a, um, an inflatable or mm. people who have a super yacht. They say that the family unit is reinforced by taking mm. their families out away from... They can take their gadgets and their, you know, even Playstations, mm. but not having them in that peer group pressure or to, to just so. get a bit away from the every day. I think mm. for us too, I know my husband John and I, and even if we take the kids out and their friends, um, it's like I've had a holiday. It might only be one day, mm. but it's one day where I don't Change have the phone mm. and I can smell the salt air mm. and I can relax and just mm. drift. <laughs> Today we're at John Crawford Marine looking at a great range of trailer boats from car toppers right through to the ultimate trailer boat. Sail staff at John Crawford Marine often get asked about what's the ideal entry-level boat for mum, dad and a couple of children. 
So in looking after their needs, their wants, and also with our experience in considering things like safety, storage, and towing, we often have a range of trailer boats that will ideally suit the entry level boaty. We don't want to be patronising in, uh, in this section, but we do want to explain that there are certain things to consider when buying that first boat. This particular boat here is a Stasa 429 runabout, and we find that this boat ideally suits that entry level boaty. It's easy to launch due to its size and its lack of weight. It's also easy to store because of its overall length, and it's also very, very easy to maintain. The running cost of these style of boats is also well within most families' budgets. So it allows the boat to be an achievable part of their lifestyle and their chosen field, which obviously we want them to be, is boating. This particular rig, 4.29 runabout, will come in at around the 500 kilos total BMT package, even including your esky and some of your toys for using out on the water, fishing rods, tubes, toboggans and the like. Bear in mind, your vehicle obviously has to have a maximum tow limit and you can't exceed that because then you'll null and void your insurance. So when purchasing a boat, a question is pertinent in your mindset must be, how heavy is the rig? Can I tow it behind my car? And with the help of the professional sales teams, they'll be able to guide you on what is safe and what is legal. Again, protection for your family and for yourself. At leading retailers and boatyards, you can generally pick up these two directories. One's from Marine Queensland with destinations, hints and tips, and you also have from the Queensland Government the Recreational Boating and Fishing Guide. And in here, again, lots of information pertinent to achieving your licence, but also things like fish sizes, limits. So great directory to get. I always have one on hand here for clients. Coming up next. I tell you what, I've got a great lifestyle living in Queensland and you know, everyone can enjoy that. It just takes a bit of time, a bit of planning. And the router will actually automatically cut out the, uh, the plywood um, for each of the boats. So we put in one big sheet and the router does all the, all the hard work if you like. 